Hey guys, welcome to the video. And in today's video, we're going to be driving across the country, well, halfway across the country from North Dakota to California. But we're gonna be ticking that avoid highways option in Google Maps to see if we can actually make it using only local roads. 32 hours of travel time, 2,002 miles. So we have passed one hour of driving time, so not that much. We have 31 hours left, but I wanted to show you Devil's Lake, North Dakota. I saw it on the map. I put like the geographical uh, view on my map on my phone while I was driving, just so I could see what kind of like the maybe bodies of water or landmarks would be on the way. I don't know if you can see, but there's so much around. This is North Dakota, so saying that might be I don't know, kind of weird because there's, it looks like there's nothing, but everything around here is beautiful. another 45 minutes or so of driving i had to stop again i found the geographical center of north america the marker for it is right behind me I'll try not to get sidetracked again, but this was too cool not to stop. I'm going west. Okay. Yeah, we can go to Mana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, like look, it's completely gone. The road is gone. <laughs> you want me to take a picture of you instead of people? No, you look good. You look good. Ready? One, two, three. So in rugby, we found someone at the side of the road. This is Rahel. <laughs> Rahel is from... San Jose. San Jose. Yeah, yeah. San Jose but originally from Israel, and then originally, originally from Eritrea. Eritrea. We gave her a ride from rugby to Minot. <laughs> Saved my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that serious, but. That was a big deal for me, I saw, and really I, serious. Because <laughs> I would be in a, like, I don't know where, but yeah. Yeah. She gave me a ride. We said a walk would take around two days, so I saved her Probably a little bit of time. Days, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you of course. So Maybe I'll text you when the video Thank goes you. up. I have to subscribe to you. Of course. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye. We just crossed the border of North Dakota and we are now officially in Montana. This local avoiding highways drive has been really scenic. I'm excited to see what's in store for Montana. I've been driving through Montana for about a half hour now. It looks like the default Windows wallpaper for Windows 2000 or Windows 99. Really calm, really peaceful, golden acres of farmland. The hardest part about the mornings during road trips for me is putting on my contacts. I can't see past here without my contacts. I am so blind. If you can't see, you can't do anything. If any animal wanted to attack, it would be best at night when I'm most vulnerable. We're waking up in Montana today. That was our backyard last night. I did see a shooting star last night. So that was my second shooting star.
we've been driving for another hour and I just wanted to stop because the scenery just completely changed. Mountainous landscapes, pine trees, and it's just beautiful out here. So I just wanted to share with you guys. So we have 20 hours left. We started yesterday with 32 hours. I don't mind how long the road trip is. It, it's been great to stop. I feel like every single thing that's really cool, I just have the urge to stop. We're past halfway through Montana, having a great time, and I'm glad I can share all this with you guys. We're here in Townsend, Montana. I was able to get two of these apples here. They were in this open refrigerator type of thing, so they're ice cold right now. And I also found this Baja Blast. So there's a minor problem over here right in front of us. It's painting the lines road and I don't know how long it's gonna be going. We're going nine miles an hour right now. I don't know how long this is gonna go. And so we skirted by, we were able to get around them. There's a big mass of water here. We're about 50 miles from Yellowstone. Here we are, my car's over here and there's a boat landing right there. But what I found, this spot over here, I'll show you. Stay with me, the car's over here and then boat landings over there if you walk here someone kind of walked here before oh <laughs> slipped if you walk through here there's a little path and I think someone was fishing out here maybe look at that look at that that is just gorgeous face wash the CeraVe moisturizing cream and then I brought toner this is just hand soap I'm just gonna use hand soap I don't know if that's gross but that's all I've got right now I feel amazing after that. That was really fun. That was probably my best shower slash bath of the year. There was a boat out there. We're in West Yellowstone right now in Montana. Stopped at the Oasis, which is McDonald's. We found a gym here, so I did work out just now. Worked out for an hour and hit a full body workout. Let's try to enter the park. I didn't plan for this, but I forgot that you need a pass for the national park. We'll visit the park next time. Thank you
currently in Idaho, so we're trying to smash through Idaho. So I changed the route from going through Nevada. We're gonna go straight west into Oregon, switch up the scenery, get to the coast, and of ride the coast down to Los Angeles. Let's go for it. So we went to Safeway for $5.99. They're freshly cut watermelon pieces. So I'm gonna snack on this while I drive. And it's 100 degrees right now in Oregon. Really good. After a long day of traveling and you know just looking at the sights of what Oregon had to offer my body was just really tight and I was mentally just a little fatigued from you know just driving and stopping and driving and stopping so this was a much needed workout I did full body started with abs did some legs leg extensions leg curls there uh, hanging knee raises here or hanging leg raises um, and I was basically doing all of these to failure um, I met someone at the gym that was super shredded. He was like, I think he was like 40, late 40s, 50s, and I was just asking him like how he like built that muscle. And he told me he was doing two a days. And I was like, man, if I could work out twice a day and you know have that be full focus, like that would be a really good time. And you know, it was a, I chose Planet Fitness here because they have really clean facilities the membership is really cheap and i was able to shower after this and keep going and find somewhere to rest for the night but yeah probably the heaviest lift i had were these back rows right here these cable rows i think i did 180 for sets of eight and then i finished off the workout with some arnold press and i think i did 60 pounds on those for a few reps as well but <laughs> Uh, I felt amazing after this workout and it was definitely worth the time and you know it made driving actually easier afterwards Good morning guys it is the morning of day four after the workout I was so my mind was at ease you know driving all these hours it's been fun to see everything lifting weights for me really gets me into a place where I'm calm and I feel at peace and we parked here in Florence, Oregon, which is right next to the coast. Uh, we parked next to this uh, trailhead, I think. But yeah, there's a little princess mural here and there's like diverging paths uh, to hike. But we didn't come here to hike. <laughs> we came here to see the ocean. Let's go find the ocean and let's keep driving. Look what was just outside, literally like 100 feet away from where I was. This is the first Oregon beach that I've ever seen. That's awesome. I just drove past something that I have to stop and look at.
Jesus. Hey guys, welcome to day five. Yesterday we crossed the border from Oregon to California and now we are in the Redwood Forest. We found this dead end road <laughs> at the end of the highway and we parked back there. There's a destination I want to get to that I've been looking at for over a year now. wanted to let you guys know what happens when you avoid highways because our destination today when you avoid highways is over six hours with highways it's under four you know it's gonna be a little more scenic is and that was kind of the goal we're gonna take those extra you know over two hours and make the most out of it and just you know enjoy the drive so let's go you saw you know if Ty was trying to get rid of him could it get power We made it here to Pigeon Point. It's south of San Francisco. Honestly, I just wanted to take a nap. I went out, walked outside of the car, and this is what I found. It's amazing here. There's a lighthouse down there. Energizing is what this view and this place is doing to me right now because there's birds flying everywhere, the waves are crashing, and I'm gonna change to something a little more comfortable and take a nap. So while we're walking back to the car, We've driven over 2,400 miles now. I didn't really realize how long I had been driving. Yeah, today is the fifth day, so we've been driving a long time. Sleep just kind of caught up to me. I've been sleeping five or six hours a night, and I think it's like slowly catching up to me. We're gonna walk through here. The shirt really matches the scenery. <laughs> I rolled down the windows so I could hear the waves of the beach. And this is just awesome. Probably one of the highlights of the trip is just like staying at places and seeing new things, being on an adventure, not knowing what's around at the next stop. I didn't even know that there was a lighthouse. Just really fun stuff. Thank you for watching so far. Like this is gonna be a huge edit. I hope it goes well and I'm gonna work hard to give you guys a really good video that you can watch. Come with me on the journey, you know? It's here. It's like a postcard. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. Let's go get some Jersey Mike's. It's in Santa Cruz. It's only 40 minutes away. 
We have arrived at Pismo Beach. Pismo Beach, it's a place where you can drive on the beach, set up a tent, set up a bonfire, ride your horses, ride your bike, and go for a swim for the first time. I really have wanted to visit this area since around May last year when I found out about it. To my knowledge, it's the only beach in California where you can drive on the beach. That felt really exciting. There's an address you go to and you pay $5 to enter the beach. Really affordable. They also sell camping passes so if you want to stay the night on the beach, I think it's a really good idea. I think it's a really cool and unique place. I think there's only one of these in California, so I'm pretty stoked about it. Let's go swim. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free. Won't you come and breathe the open skies Come now, come listen to the melody Slow it down, put yourself at ease Time to live it live Get away from the do and Get away, don't let it close Go We just finished up at Pismo Beach. We spent about five hours here. Got here around 12 and it's around 5 p.m. right now. It's probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite beach in California. You can bring your whole car to the beach, which is just the game changer. The scenery, you know, having the convenience of your car being right here, a different experience. It's not as touristy as Santa Monica or Venice Beach. Those beaches, you can't drive on them. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of traffic. Walked all the way down to the pier. There's a lot of shops, there's a lot of restaurants if you're into that, there's a bar. Beautiful day here in Pismo Beach. We're gonna finish the road trip and get to LA in about three hours. Absolutely a different experience than what you use usually experience in California. I lived in LA for like seven years. I've never experienced anything like this experience at Pismo Beach. The beach line is so expansive. I was kind of concerned because there was a line on the way to the beach and I was like, man, there's a lot of cars here. Are we all gonna fit? There's plenty of room. You could fit thousands of cars on this beach and it still wouldn't fill it up. I saw birds, jet skiing. I saw people fishing. People brought their dogs here. It's just a different, experience next time i do want to bring some friends i saw a bonfire so i would like to start a bonfire and stay overnight it's just amazing here there's kids everywhere just playing and there's so much like there's clams all over the beach there's there's seagulls i mean it's just beautiful and then you still have the pier down there so if you wanted to get dinner you could go down there get dinner get a drink there's just so much to offer here it's only five dollars like that's just such a steal for this type of experience and um yeah i'm definitely gonna come back
I blew right past Los Angeles. We're in Mission Viejo. I'm going to visit my tita or aunt. I have a confession to make. I actually did use the freeway. Like, I turned off Avoid Highway for the last, like, 200 miles. From Pismo Beach to here, without highways, was nearly seven hours. But with it, it was two and a half. She really enticed me and, like, got me because she said they're making steak tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, dude, like, honestly, guys, like, we've we've driven 2,891 miles. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, 200 miles out of that 2,800, almost 2,900 miles. I think it's pretty good. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have another video planned, and that's going to be in LA. Subscribe, like the video if you did like it, and subscribe for the next video because I do have a couple more planned. The adventures are going to continue. at your destination. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. It was good. It was like 2,800 miles. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's cool. Ooh. I haven't eaten steak in a while. I took a bath in the Yellowstone River. Wow. It was insane. And it's cold? Yeah. It's cold. Oh, it's cold, yeah. But there were like eagles. <gasps> yeah. Oh and then at the end, there was a fishing boat. <laughs> <laughs> when I went from California to North Dakota last year, I did it in 36 hours. It's hard to this. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hi. It's your channel, babe. This is my first video, so no channel yet. Cool. I like the wetsuit.